What is the most dangerous enemy in the Mario games? Well, some would say the Koopa Troopa and others say Boos. But I think I've found one of the most deadly. The Cheep Cheep. The world of Mario is filled with hostile beings that want to destroy or defeat Mario in the Mushroom Kingdom. Most of us think about Goombas and Koopa Troopas, but there is a way more dangerous enemy. This is the fish species called Cheep Cheep. The Cheep Cheep is a common fish species in the Mushroom Kingdom, first introduced in Super Mario Bros, where it appears as a common underwater enemy. This foe slowly swims forward or leaps out of the water. As a species of fish, it lacks complex free will, thus Bowser is able to brainwash them and use them as his minions. Cheep Cheep can survive out of the water, though its way of getting around varies between games, either showing it flopping around or hopping from place to place. Throughout its appearances, the attack pattern of Cheep Cheep remains constant, slowly swimming towards the player. Although Sushi, a purple Cheep Cheep and ally of Mario, is shown to be capable of such feats as belly flopping and manipulating water. There are many different species of Cheep Cheeps and they come in different colors, including yellow and green. In Super Mario Bros and Super Mario Bros The Lost Levels, Cheep Cheeps are found in the underwater levels and they can only be defeated with fireballs or if Mario is invisible. They are found in all of the water levels and can usually be seen with bloopers. In some levels, red cheap cheeps become less predictable obstacles by leaping from the bottom of the screen. These can be defeated in a single jump, but it's hard to do so, as they jump very high. They often appear in pit-heavy areas and can ruin Mario's attempts to cross should they jump directly under him. But why would these fish be so extremely deadly? What's their secret? Well, there's actually a fish that acts a lot like the cheap cheeps in real life, the flying fish. Flying fish can be seen jumping out of warm ocean waters worldwide. Their streamlined torpedo shape helps them gather enough underwater speed to break through the surface, and their large wing-like fins get them airborne. Flying fish are thought to have evolved this remarkable gliding ability to escape predators, of which they have many. The process of taking flight or gliding begins by gaining great velocity on the water, about 37 miles per hour. Angling upward, the four-winged flying fish breaks the surface and begins to taxi by rapidly beating its tail while it's still beneath the surface. It then takes to the air, sometimes reaching heights over 4 feet and gliding long distances, up to 655 feet. Once it nears the surface again, it can flap its tail and taxi without fully returning to the water capable of continuing its flight in such a manner. But there are a couple of things that don't work out compared to the Cheep Cheeps. Cheep Cheeps can never fly as far as the flying fish, and the flying fish are just a bit bigger than a teacup, so that would not really pose a threat to Mario. But there are multiple types of fish that sometimes jump out of the water, but there's one species that's really famous for it, and that's the Asian Carp. Asian carp can grow to large sizes, some as large as 110 pounds, though the average size is around 30 to 40 pounds. Black carps can grow up to 7 feet in length and over 100 pounds. Asian carps can jump several feet into the air. A single silver carp can knock out a boat driver unconscious before a passenger even has time to say anything. It's not really clear what causes these giant fish to leap out of the water, but their jumpy behavior isn't out of character. Asian carp tend to feed at the surface of the water, where they are more easily disturbed by the sight and sound of a passing boat. In one survey of fishers and boaters in the Illinois River in America, about three quarters reported seeing or being hit by a jumping Asian carp. The Asian carps are currently flooding the Illinois River, it's some sort of a plague there currently. Maybe this is also the case with the Cheep Cheeps from Mario. It could be that they are easily spooked fish, and that's why they jump out of the water. Bowser also controls a lot of these weak-minded fish, and could force them to jump out of the water at the right moment to attack or kill Mario. But how dangerous would something like this be? Big Head and Silver varieties of Asian carp can jump up to 10 feet out of the water when frightened. Some carp can also grow to the size of a typical 12 year old kid, so being hit is also no laughing matter. Collisions between boaters and jumping silver carp have potential to cause human fatalities. So the cheap cheeps probably have a similar way to the Asian carps. So imagine how that would feel for Mario, getting hit by up to 110 pounds of fish to his head, which would probably knock him out or even kill him. One of the most unlucky places Mario could get hit by a cheap cheap is his temple or his jaw. 
The hit to the jaw would knock him out at once. You see this a lot in boxing, where they go for the jaw when they want to knock somebody out. But the temple is an even more dangerous place to get hit, because this could easily kill Mario. The temple is located on the side of the head behind the eyes, and is one of the biggest weak points of the human body. So, watch out next time. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my other videos and follow me on Twitter, Instagram and YouTube to stay up to date.